We are joined by Susana Garcia Robles from the Multilateral Investment Fund. Welcome to ProofCap today. Thank you. We are in Sao Paulo, and so we're going to be talking about the uh, development of the Brazilian private equity ecosystem. But you have a very interesting perspective on the development of Brazil because you invest across Latin America. Maybe you can talk a bit about what your organization does, and then we can get to Brazil. Sure. In a snapshot, the Multilateral Investment Fund is an independent trust fund from the Inter-American Development Bank. Uh, we were born as a bipartisan initiative uh, way back in 1992. Bush Sr. started it and then Clinton uh, continued it. And initially, the, the gist of the MIF, as we call it, um, was to uh, help the region, the Latin American Caribbean region, with privatization issues. But very soon, uh, that theme was changed for private sector development. And within private sector development, one of the most uh, vibrant programs the MIF has had has been investing as a fund of funds in seed and venture capital funds in Latin America and the Caribbean. Although our main resources go um, in the form of uh, grants to work with private sector and public sector on the development of ecosystems conducive to private sector development, entrepreneurship, competitiveness, all issues to make Latin America a very uh, competitive region vis-a-vis -vis other developed markets. Uh, so Susanna, let's talk a bit about scale of your operations. How many funds have you backed in Latin America, but then how many funds have you backed in Brazil specifically? We started investing in 1996, and uh, if we count historically our portfolio, we approved 72 funds in the region, and five, seven of them never closed because there was uh, not enough interest among other LPs. Then seven, eight didn't give us um, a lot of good stories, but gave us, provided us with the source of lessons learned. And today we have an active portfolio of uh, 39 funds operating in the region, 16 of them in Brazil. And then we are about to uh, legally close the first closing of seven more funds. So we'll have 46 funds in our portfolio. Usually we approve every year five funds in the region. So what we did is we took Brazil as our laboratory of experiences and lessons learned to try to see if it worked in Brazil, how we could adapt it to other regions, to other countries that maybe uh, didn't have the size of Brazil, but uh, we could see how to replicate it. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about Brazil specifically and uh, take advantage of the fact that you're able to compare it to other um, Mar uh, Latin American private equity markets. What is unique about the way that the Brazilian GP community has developed? Excellent question. I love that question because Brazil does have a uniqueness in that. And it's that the Brazilian fund managers understood very soon, early in the game, that a success of a Brazilian fund manager was a success for the whole industry. And don't get me wrong, everybody wants to have a better home run than the other one. But they take it very seriously to build the industry together. You don't find that in many other countries, and I think it's a great fault in other cultures. Brazilians have understood that they need to work together to make the case for Brazil. And those Brazilians who started way back in the 90s, like CRP or others, we started in Brazil in 1998, we have walked with them throughout the good things, the bad things, but there was that sense of companionship, and that made it happen. You know, today we are here at the Congress, Aveve Cup has over 600 people attended. I was there at the very first meeting of what was to be Aveve Cup, and it didn't happen in Sao Paulo, it happened in Porto Alegre, and we were 25 people between investors and GPs and any other government agency. And we were dividing tasks among ourselves. Who's gonna try to struggle on the on a better regulation? Who's gonna do this? And I think that sense of being together to push the industry together took us to where we are at today. And we can enjoy this great conference today. Mm -hmm. Well, can you talk a bit about the development of the Brazil Brazilian LP market? What is the level that many of the local pension funds and institutional investors are at with regard to their understanding of and their participation in the local Brazilian private equity market? 
It's an interesting question. The MIF never invested more than 50% of a fund in the beginning. And today in Brazil, we are not investing more than 10, 12%, which tells you of the growth on the LP base. But in the beginning, the majority of the LPs were government agencies. Uh, we did have early on a few pension funds, very visionaries, small ones in Florianopolis and in Rio Grande do Sul. But I would say a, a breaking point was a program started by FINEP in partnership with the MIF, Petros, and Sebrae. That program, uh, the Innovar program, put all the investors together and said, let's look at this industry together. Let's look at our base of GPs. And so, in, you know, that started in 2001. In 2004, six, the biggest pension funds began to put money in venture capital funds. And that was really, you know, a, a huge milestone. Today, I would say the composition is mixed. Uh, you have pension funds, you still have a very strong presence by VNDES and uh, FINEP. You have um, different technological parks beginning to put money in some banks, some family offices, some high net worth individuals, and uh, angel investors. Brazil has a different view on uh, the development of the angel investors uh, segment. In other countries, angel investors invest directly in companies. Here in Brazil, uh, angel investors like to invest in funds. So we have counted between FINEP and the MIF in funds that we have supported that we have over 100 angel investors putting money in funds that are C and BC. I know that um it is the mission of the International Finance Corp, the IFC. Yeah. Their mission is to put themselves out of business. They hope that the managers that they back are so successful that eventually the, there, there is not sort of development money needed. Is that the goal of your organization or are you absolutely, in it? Absolutely, okay. absolutely. Um, we have taken a different approach. We go to the highest risk segments, angels, seed, and venture capital really early stage. So I think we are going to be a little longer than the IFC on business, but definitely when they ask me what's the goal of uh, the MIF in this industry is that one day nobody will knock at our doors. Nobody will need us because private sector already entered and is successful and there are very good stories going around. But it sounds like in the meantime, many people will be knocking at your door. And so you're going to be very Absolutely. busy. Absolutely. Right? <laughs> yes. So there's quite a demand for both the capital and also for the perspective of your organization. Yes. Um, we do have the benefit of using a leg that is called grants to work with governments in building this ecosystem. When we look at Silicon Valley, we see the energy there doesn't come only uh, because of the entrepreneurs and the ideas. The entrepreneurs go there because they also had a lot of a circle of trust, service providers that understand the industry, family and friends, um, research done in universities. All that is very hard to find in countries in Latin America. So the MIF is working, of course, with FINEP in Brazil, with VNDES, but also in Uruguay, also in Chile with Corfo, also in Colombia with Bancoldex, also in Mexico with Nafin. We are working now with Jamaica. Um, and what we are doing is we are bringing people from Costa Rica, Jamaica, Ecuador to spend one, two weeks here working with FINEP in the NOVAR program. And when they got back to their countries, their mentality is totally changed. You know, they know they have to look at what's happening in their countries, what are the roadmap um, that they need to develop in order to get a venture capital industry according to their size. But so, that's a huge benefit that we have. We can prepare and massage a little bit in the ecosystem before um, we really put a lot of money into funds. And we also have done a lot uh, training fund managers and pension funds. Like in Brazil, before the pension funds invested here, there were road shows done with the US government, bringing US pension funds to Brazil, and then bringing Brazilians to the US. So to talk among peers, change their view on the industry. It's different when somebody says, oh, you have to invest. But when it is a peer that understands all your issues, it really, it was, you know, a breaking point, very mm. important. Well, uh, Susanna, thank you so much for joining PrivCap well, today. Thank you. Thank you.